He'll end up getting five out of that, but now they're looking at third down. Well, you know, paramount for this defense is trying to keep Lamar Jackson somewhat contained when he tries to run. They did a pretty good job of it there. And you know what's so difficult for every defense that has to prepare for Lamar Jackson? You have to think and play at the same time. And I know that sounds like... And that'll be taken in by Andrews for a Ravens touchdown. Two yards on the touchdown there. And the Ravens are on the board first here this afternoon. Justin Tucker for the extra point. And the Ravens lead at 7-0. And a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bringing it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. They'll start out on the ground at Saquon Barkley. And that to the 30. It'll be second down. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath. Settle down and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. Charles already trailing by touchdown early. In this offense, how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive? Well, they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense. But I think even more so, you just want to avoid three and outs. You want to be able to stay on the field for a little while, let your defense catch their breath a little bit, even if you don't score any points. for it with Barkley. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. After one, 7 nothing on EA Sports. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. They keep it with Barkley on first down. And he fumbled it. It's on the ground. Wow. That ball gets knocked free. But a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like, it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up. And avoids the turnover. On second down, here's Barkley. And he'll be stopped at the 46, gain of three. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. To throw, it's Brady. That's caught by his tight end, Dawson Knox. And he will have a Broncos first down as they get five there on third and two. Brady now on first down. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And he's gonna be taken down at about the 33. First down, Brady. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. My first thought is surprise, because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Up the middle with Barkley. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's able to motor his way down to the 16-yard line. 17 yards for the Broncos there as they've got themselves a first down. 
Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the gun, it's Brady. That's complete to Disley, the tight end. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Just picking up yardage in bunches here these last few plays. They have moved right down the field. And just like that, they're going to be set up for the first and goal. This one goes out wide for Barkley. Touchdown, Broncos! Saquon Barkley from four yards out. And the Broncos are an extra point away from drawing level. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide, they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside, who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 here as the kick's away. Hill is going to take it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth if you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. That's caught. It's the former Bronco, Owen Daniels. And down he goes, but he takes it up to the 40. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Now it's Jackson. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 23 yards, the final tally. Throwing is Jackson. And this one is incomplete. So it looks like they stopped some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But this defense gets two more stops. They can keep them out of that area. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now it's Jackson. And he'll get this into the hands of Hill complete. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in this first half. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. Christian Okoye, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Tucker now to add the point after. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. 
And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. And Brady's throw there, incomplete. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact, but in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well, incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Brady. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, they approached this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get the momentum going again. Throwing is Brady on third down. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Champ Bailey. And the Ravens are going to take possession of the football. Wow, a big mistake there. Late interception this first half, and that could lead to a field goal try the other way. Yeah, I think at this point you just had to say, let's take a knee and go in at the half and regroup. Let's just talk. Got a man, it's caught for a Ravens touchdown. Rob Gronkowski as time expires in the first half. And the Ravens will extend their lead on the final play of the half. Now Tucker to add the PAT. It's good, and it is now 21-7. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. It'll be the Broncos getting the football first in this second half as they trail, and we are back underway. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. By no means, certainly, are they out of this contest. Two-score game, start of the third quarter. But you feel like if they don't get points and then they give up points, then it can become a slippery slope. This feels like an important possession. Yeah, and that slope becomes even more slick if you come away empty-handed on this drive. Because then you give them a chance to extend their lead. You need some kind of points here, even if it's just a field goal. It's what I call one of those calming drives, trying to slow things down a little bit. Throwing on first down is Brady. Blitz coming, and down he goes. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Second and 16. On play action, it's Brady. Trying to force it to Hopkins, and it's intercepted. Snatched by the safety, Ed Reed. And the Ravens are going to take position. 